We're here. And um, I just would like to say to Mr. Ballou, uh, I uh, respect you for demanding the rematch. I think it's, uh, you know, shows a lot of character. And um, we're here to do what we have to do to uh, get this victory and go home. Hopefully we get some sunshine before we leave. Thanks, buddy. And um, Isaac, you're back. I know it didn't take long for either of you to accept this rematch. And your thoughts going into this fight? Yeah, thanks. Um, it's good to be back here again. Um, first of all, I just want to thank uh, Matchroom Promotion. I want to um, thank uh, my promotion, um, uh, Dubera's promotion, uh, for making this happen so quickly. I believe. Um, I truly believe in boxing history, this is the first time that a uh, rematch happened so quickly. And um, I thank Tony uh, uh, for taking the rematch, uh, being strong about it. And I'm here to take the victory home. Um, I'm here uh, to beat up my own performance that I put up last time. Um, I truly believe I won the fight last time. And um, I'm not here to defeat Tony. I'm here to defeat my own performance I put up last time. So it's good to be back here, and it will be great to put up a great show on Saturday night. Thank you, Isaac. Um, Tony, a few words? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the rematch, and uh, it can't come quick enough. You know, like I said, I want to do it again, so I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Everything's brief this time. I just want to take my hat off to both guys. You know, this was a very quick rematch and a very easy rematch to make. Huge spoils on the cards for both these guys. The winner will go on to fight the winner of Adonis Stevenson and Chad Dawson, who box on January the 8th for the WBC title. So a huge opportunity for both guys. And again, well done for uh, accepting the challenge so quickly. Uh, moving on to Noe Gonzalez. Joe Forbes will be uh, translating for him. Noe, a few words from you. Bueno, buenas tardes. Muchas gracias por, por haberme invitado a este compromiso. Para mí es un honor. Thank you for having him here. Um, he'd like to fight your, uh, George Groves, and uh, this has been very good for him. Training has been fantastic. Eh, bueno, como dije, muy agradecido por haberme invitado acá, y bueno, voy a dar eh, de mí todo lo, que, todo lo que he hecho y he entrenado por este mes y medio. I'm going I'm to give my all. I've trained very well for a month and a half. Y bueno, va a ser eh, la pelea más difícil que va a tener George. Uh, this is going to be a difficult fight for George. I have fought better opponents. He's too good looking to be a boxer. Estoy, estoy muy, muy motivado. Estoy muy motivado para, para este combate y voy a dar todo de, todo de mí para esta pelea. I'm very motivated for this fight and hopefully I'll be the winner at the end of the day. Thank you, Noe. I'm not sure you've been told that before, George, no, for a while. I was, I was half believing what he had to say until he told me I was good looking. So, um, Adam, we're just going to grab a few words from Adam Booth. You've resigned your <laughs> microphone there. Or? It's too tall. Not too much from me. This is a, a big test for George, the right test. Uh, guy can fight. Guys come to fight. He can punch. Now for George to take the step up to world championship level, it's guys like this that he has to dominate and do it in the right fashion. So I'm looking forward to George doing his job on Saturday. And uh, finally, going to get a few words from handsome George. George. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a fight that's going to push me towards winning a world title. Um, <coughs> plan to dominate this guy from start to finish. He's a very good fighter, but he's, he just doesn't have any chance in this fight. And I'm going to take him out. And then from then on, it's up to you, Eddie, to deliver me a world title. I'm sure you will. Certainly we'll do that. We'll do that. We're going to open the floor to questions now, guys, before we have head-to-heads and one-on-ones. Any questions, please? No questions? Hold on. He said that you were ill before the first fight. Can you confirm that? Well, yes, um, I was very sick in that night. Um, two days before the fight, I caught through, and um, I, I was given an option to pull out the fight. Um, my manager and my whole team uh, advised me to uh, not to take the fight. But you know, I went through a lot uh, before that fight. I had um, uh, a lot of weeks of training, and I didn't feel like.
two days before the fight, I had to pull out. So um, that's why my performance, my performance wasn't so great. And um, this time, as I said, I'm not getting sick, and um, I'm here to put up a great performance. Yeah, training's been great. I've had some good sparring, and um, yeah, so I've had a few two fights this year, and that's rolled on, and I've kept myself in shape. I had a, a great camp, no injuries, which was a bonus. Weight's good, so I'm ready to rock. Yeah, that's been clear. Yeah, I've had a few fights since then, um, no problems or anything like that. No, I'm good. Yeah, just go in and, and perform and to the best of my ability. I didn't do that last time and just go in there and make it count. Work for every minute of every round and, and get the job done. So, you know, like I said, I slipped off last time, but just get the job done. OK, guys, we're going to uh, pose for head-to-heads here and then break for one-on-ones for any of the guys that you need. Thank you. George first, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joe Tippers. Thank you.